This video is all about how to be a better defender in football. I'm going to give you a few things that you can work on and practice and learn that are going to make you a more composed, better commanding center back or defender, whatever position you play. That's coming up next. I just want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, OneFootball, which is one of the best football apps out there where you can get football news stories, transfer rumors, videos, and so much more. It's one of my favorite apps, uh, one of my favorite football apps, and you can download it for free down below through the link in my description, or if you're on the desktop, you can actually get it through the QR code that you'll see on screen in one of these corners. So I want to say thank you for OneFootball for sponsoring this video. Again, one of the best football apps out there for football enthusiasts. Now let's get into the rest of this video. Hi there, my name is Dave and this is Simply Soccer. If you are new to the channel where I am creating weekly videos to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch, one way to do that is to make sure you get my free ebook, Game Changer, down below. It is a 50 plus page ebook, chock full of different drills and practices you can do to improve your game. Now without further ado, let's get into how to improve as a defender, starting in reverse order with number five. And number five is one of the biggest parts of defending and it has to do with defending IQ and it's knowing when to go in for the ball and when to contain and kind of jockey the attacker. Um, again, this is a, essentially, I like to say, don't dive in or don't dive in unless you're pretty sure you're going to get the ball like 100% or in some cases you might have to as a last ditch type of thing. But ultimately, you usually don't want to dive in. If you look at players like Van Dyke and some of the best defenders, this is why they're so good. They're so calm. They don't panic and they know what to do, when to dive in and when to back off and try and get them into a corner or wait for reinforcements. I would say Van Dyke's the best in the world at doing this. It's what makes him one of the best defenders among other things, but understand when to dive in and when not. To. Number four is get good at your positional discipline. I'm gonna use Van Dyke a lot here, but this is another thing he's so good at, knowing where he needs to be if X, Y, or Z happens. If you're always caught out of position, especially as a center back or really any defender, you are really leaving your team wide open. You hear a lot of players, you know, that are good at certain defensive positions, but if they're lacking this, you'll hear about it all the time. That's something they need to improve, you know, to make sure they're switched on and have good positional discipline where they need to be if X, Y, or Z happens. Again, study a player in your position that's known for being good at this so you can get an idea of what they're doing in different scenarios. And it's going to start teaching you more positional discipline because as a defender, you need to have it. Again, other positions can get away with it, although it's still very useful useful and valuable to have. For example, if you're a winger or a forward, center mid definitely need to have it. But ultimately, if your positional discipline is really bad, you're going to be a very inconsistent defender. So make sure you hit that like button if you're enjoying this video so far or it resonates with you or you're getting something out of it. And we'll move on to number three. And number three is stay calm. A rash defender makes mistakes. And a defender's mistakes usually end up being more of a thing that hurts their team or it ends up being more damaging than other players. Because when a defender makes a mistake, a lot of times it can lead to goal scoring chances or even the opposition scoring. Again, bringing it back to Virgil van Dijk and some of the best defenders is they keep their calm. Even in pressure situations, even when they're outnumbered, they know what to do. They don't get rashed. They don't dive in when it's unnecessary. They know what to do because they're keeping their head. If you lose your head, if you, um, you know, panic, you're going to make a decision you may end up regretting, giving away an unnecessary free kick um, or even getting sent off if you're the last man or again, doing something that leads to a goal. You need to be able to keep your calm in these pressure situations. It also includes playing out on the back. Now Van Dyke's so good too because he can play really good balls out of the back which he can only do because he keeps his head. If he was rash in these situations you might end up losing the ball and again not a great look for a center back. It's going to hurt your team. Number two is keep it simple. Now you can be a ball playing center back while still keeping it simple. Again I'm going to keep going to Van Dyke um, because he's just one of the best at this. He can absolutely play that cross field ball but there'll be some games where he doesn't do it at all. For the most part he keeps it simple plays it to his midfield or his other center back or his right or left back in Robertson and Trent so you want to keep it simple for the most part you know a defender that plays a simple 
simple game and does the other things that we went over, um, not making any mistakes, has good positional discipline, typically is going to be a really good defender. Again, there will be times for you to try that ball if you have good passing range. There will be times to try to run forward a little bit. But, you know, remember that if you lose the ball as a center back or you lose the ball as a defender, it can be more detrimental. So take calculated risks every now and then. Um, but for the most part, play simple. And number one is learn to read the game and also adapt quickly. Again, with the best defenders, you see them doing this. They're always reading the game. That's how they know how to make interceptions. That's how they know to stay back or go for it. Uh, like I said, not diving in versus when they know they're going to get the ball. They know where a player is going to be making a run or where the space is and they can kind of snuff it out. Again, you can see Van Dyke doing this all the time and other top center backs. Uh, Varane's another one that can really anticipate where a ball is going to be um, for a cross or something else and they'll get into that space or they'll do a good job of covering the space that they think is the most dangerous um, that the ball can go to. And so learning how to do that, adapt in real time, um, is one of the most valuable things for a center back. Just that adaptability to be able to choose the better option, to choose the thing that's going to do less damage. And you'll see the best defenders doing this. They always choose the option for the most part that's going to lead to less damage or allow them to not concede a goal in some circumstances. And you have to learn how to read and adapt the game in that way. Again, one of the best ways to do this is just to watch not just highlight videos of defenders because that would be their best tackles and all that, but to watch kind of game compilations. So all of their involvement in a game or just when you're watching a game to pay attention Attention to what they're doing for the most part and you'll start to see some of these patterns that these best defenders are displaying. Now for those who want to become even better defenders you should go watch this video next where I go over how to defend fast attackers. They can be some of the most tricky ones but if you learn from this video you'll know how to take care of them to deal with them and become even better for doing so.